I think a fundamental problem for the old left was that it was influenced by the idea which certainly you know, Marx held that there is no such thing as human nature, no biologically given human nature, and that the way human beings are is determined by the economic and social structure of society. So if you are in a capitalist society which tells people to maximize profit and, and so on, then you get people who are egoistic and selfish and competitive. But if you could abolish capitalism and uh, have everybody together own the means of production and so the workers all cooperatively do that, then uh, the Marxist view and the view of the left was that human nature would change and we would not anymore be egoistic, we would not be so competitive. Instead, we would work cooperatively together, uh, you know, from each according to his ability to each according to their needs. But, um, I mean, clearly that didn't happen uh, in the Soviet Union after it became communist. Uh, people still were very self-centered. They weren't so self-centered about money, perhaps, they couldn't be, but they were very self-centered about power and status. Uh, and it didn't really produce uh, a better society at all. Um, arguably, it produced a much worse society. But I think we now know that this view was a mistake, that essentially uh, Darwin was right, that we have evolved in ways that have helped us to survive and reproduce, and that this is not just uh, about physical things like our opposable thumb, but it's also about our... Um, our motivation, um, the things that move us, that drive us to act, uh, our goals. So this is not going to change when we change the economic basis of society and we have to work with that human nature. But I think if we understand it better then we will find we can work within it and we can use it to produce a better and more cooperative society than we have. I believe that what makes a position left is its concern for the weaker and underprivileged members of society, um, that it's not simply pandering to uh, those who have the most power and influence now, um, but it is really trying to redress the balance uh, and, and make a big difference for people who are worse off. Uh, so that to me has been the characteristic of, of the left and it's, the, it's really a value orientation that it's saying, you know, it's not that we want to make those who are already uh, strong even stronger and certainly it's not taking a kind of a, a nationalist stance that we want our country to be dominant or supreme or something like that, um, but it's saying we want to bring about a better world uh, in which the world is better for everyone but in particular it's better for those who now have the worst conditions to endure. A Darwinian left would accept that there is a human nature uh, which may be fluid in some respects, but is not completely plastic, is not going to just, you know, changed into whatever mould the social structure has. And a Darwinian left would maintain its value orientation towards making the world a better place for everyone, but it would be aware of the difficulties of making these changes in that there are going to be certain things in human nature that are, are going to push against them. Uh, and, you know, for example, that people are going to try to protect um, their own interests and those of their family and those who are close to them uh, against competition from, from outsiders. One thing that, that the left could do is to accept the Darwinian view of human nature but to try to combine that with the values of the left, the values of trying to make the world better for everybody in it and therefore to set up social structures that draw on aspects of human nature that will encourage people to be 
more cooperative and produce a better society for everyone. Because it's a mistake to think that uh, you know, if you accept Darwin, then you accept that uh, we're all going to be ruthlessly self-interested. Um, that's not what uh, an evolutionary view tells us, and certainly not what Darwin believed either. Um, it can be very advantageous to cooperate with others, and we see that humans have this, if you like, an innate tendency to cooperate with those who look as if they're going to be friendly and willing to cooperate. And that's a big plus for uh, survival of those who are in cooperative relationships. So we can draw on that in our social structures. We can set up situations in which we're encouraging people to cooperate with others and including others who are disadvantaged and who will benefit from being part of that cooperation.